Welcome to the final week of your final year of law. You are now among the brightest students in the country, and I have no doubt that many of you will be leaders of tomorrow. I am very excited to announce, soon an internship will be presented to one of you by a firm of immense distinction. None other than Morgan and Crown. Morgan and Crown? Didn't I tell you? I can't believe it! You've been the top of your class for five years. Of course you're going to get it. Your dad would have been so proud. For whomever they choose, it will open the door to almost certain success in the world of law. This is your final week of tutorials before your major exam. And it all comes down to this. Good luck, study hard, and get plenty of sleep. As you recall, morality is the key concept of this unit. It is best described as a sense of behavioural conduct that differs between right and wrong amongst our community. You look like shit, Nicole. Someone next door was using a jackhammer this morning. Let me direct you to case study 3.2. Charles Donovan buried his victims in the concrete foundations of his apartment. So is it? Who? The guy next door? Oh, I don't know. Didn't even know anyone was living there. Now, when we start talking about morality in the face of the law, that's when things start getting interesting. Go talk to him. He'll stop. He could be this hot tradie. God knows you can use a screw. Shh. He's probably allowed to drill at that time anyway. Who cares? You need your sleep. I'll wait it out. Let me put this to you. Someone somewhere is dying of a rare disease, and you and only you can save their life. But to do so, you must sacrifice one of your kidneys. Now, there's no law that can force you to give any organ against your will. But without it, they will most certainly die. What do you do? Yes, Miss Turner. I would not donate my kidney. Tell me why. Well, there's no law that compels me to, so I wouldn't. It's like what Michael Crown said. The law is a lighthouse that leads us on the right path. Yeah, but just because the law says you can doesn't mean you should. OK, very good. Could I have a show of hands? Who here would donate their kidney? I'm under no legal obligation to help. I'll be interested to see how you present your evidence in your final exam on Monday.
from next door? I'm a shift worker and I was just wondering if there was any way you could start working a little bit later in the morning. I just haven't been getting any sleep at all and it's really starting to affect my job and studies. Do you reckon you could just work a little bit later in the day? I'm starting to worry that he won't stop. Oh, I grabbed this for you. Why didn't you tell me? It's not like you to miss a chew. Fuck, Nicole, I didn't believe this. Unit. A fail for Nicole Turner. You'll have to ace the exam to pass. Piss off, Caitlin. Looks like that internship's on the table again. lodge a complaint. You have to send someone around to help me. It's every fucking day! I know he's in his legal right, but he starts at 7am. That's bullshit! No, I, I don't have anywhere else to stay. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous! Yeah, I will call my strata manager. Is this a strata manager? I know that he's allowed to drill at that time. I've heard that like 10,000 fucking times! I have to get those days off, or I'm going to fail. There's nobody else available. Can't be that bad. Oh, come on. Sorry, Nicole, if you don't come in, you're out of a job. I'm so sorry to call you this late, but I was wondering if there's any chance I could stay at your place tonight? Oh, Nicole, I would, but I mentioned that my mum's very sick. It's not a very good idea. But I know he's going to be jackhammering when I get home, please. Is there anyone else you can stay with? There's no one. A hotel? I can't afford it. I'm really sorry, Nicole. I wish I could let you stay here, but I can't. OK. Bye.
motherfucker! The date of the final exam has already been set. Yes, I know. But I don't have any other choice. I'm unprepared. You are one of our best students we've ever had, Nicole. Morgan and Crown are interested in you. And they've been closely observing another student. Opportunities like this don't come around very often. I can't fail this exam. I have to defer. You know university law is strict to defer a final exam and none of the provisions apply to you. Listen to me! I know what the university law says. But can't you see that I'm just not in any state to sit this exam? It is in my discretion as to your suitability. That internship is mine! <sighs> Sometimes in the darkness, we have to use our own senses to find the right path. I'm under no legal obligation to help. Immense distinction. I can't fail this exam. Shut the fuck up! Morgan and Crown are interested in you. And it all comes down to this. That internship is mine! Your dad would have been so proud. Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, you have three hours for this examination. Your time starts now. Please begin. Nicole, what did you do with the evidence? What? Question five. I nailed it. 